What's going on guys, Billy here, and today I wanted to take the time to sit down and discuss something that's making waves in the drone industry. I've been seeing a lot about it over on Twitter, and it's something that really interests me, and I kind of figured it deserved its own video, and I really wanted, I guess, the opportunity to talk about it again because I've already made a video on it. Now, as you know, if you're going to be flying a drone anywhere, really, there are certain rules that go along with it. It doesn't matter if you're flying for fun. It doesn't matter if you're flying for work purposes, I guess commercial purposes. There's going to be rules that you need to follow. Now, there's things like you can't fly above 400 feet. There's things like you can't fly beyond visual line of sight. But there are two that I really wish the FAA would, I guess, reconsider or overturn. The first one is flying above people, and the second one is flying at nighttime. Now, the FAA has shown some interest in allowing drone pilots to fly over people, over crowds of people, and at nighttime. They've kind of looked at the waivers issued for nighttime flight and haven't seen any reported incidents. So it's great that the FAA is kind of doing their research, making sure everybody's flying safely, and once they can kind Kind of note that there's been no incidents at nighttime they can say okay well drone flights safe at nighttime and then they'll go about that however they want to by saying all right if you're flying at nighttime you're going to need a beacon but today i want to talk about flying over people and the reason i really want to discuss this is because i follow the faa on twitter they actually put out some sort of blog post where they were talking about how they issued a waiver to fly over people to a part 107 pilot and this waiver allows him to fly over people and the whole reason he's allowed to do this is because of a parachute system that goes on top of a drone. So this is the Parazero Safe Air for the Phantom. I actually did a review on this a couple of months ago. If you guys haven't seen it, I'll leave a link down in the description. This is an automatic parachute system. So when your drone is falling from the sky, say for any reason, a crash or a motor failure, this parachute will automatically deploy and safely bring it down to the ground. Now, as I stated in this video, it's not going to save your drone. Your drone could potentially suffer some sort of damage from hitting the ground, but its main purpose is to protect those on on the ground so if you're flying over a crowd of people your drone crashes or the motor fails and it begins to fall from the sky it's not gonna hit the ground at its maximum speed it's instead going to be brought down safely now there are some other companies out there making parachutes for drones but Parazero is the only one that I've tested out and they make this for other drones like the Matri series they actually do custom parachute systems for drones also they also just put one out for pre-order for the Mavic 2 so if you have a Mavic 2 you can put one of these on top and if it falls from the sky it's going to bring it down safely I really I really wish they made one for the Inspire as that's the drone I pretty much use all of the time but I figure the design of the arms going up and above the body could make it a bit of a challenge. Now I'm looking at this article from the FAA, I'll leave this linked down in the description and this was actually submitted by a construction company. I'm not sure exactly what this construction company wants to do with a waiver to fly over people but it's awesome that the FAA is recognizing these parachute systems and they're also seeing that they could potentially work not potentially work, they definitely work. Now, here's the thing. You can't just slap one of these on top of your drone and say, okay, I've got a parachute. I'm good to fly over people. You, of course, need the waiver from the FAA here in the States, and you also need the ASTM certified kit, which includes a buzzer. So when the drone is falling from the sky, it emits a tone, letting people know the drone is falling from the sky and to get out of the way, but it also, of course, has the parachute. Now, I went over a lot of stuff about the ASTM certification and this plus the buzzer in a previous video. I'm going to leave that linked down in the description and maybe in the top right corner if I remember. But one of the things I remember hearing from you guys is that this was too expensive. And I'm on Parazero's website right now. The Safe Air Phantom is $249 and the Safe Air for the Mavic is $299. Right now they're both on sale. But if you want to go with the professional kit for the Phantom, it is $1749. So in order to fly over people, in order to meet that ASTM certification and I guess get the waiver from the FAA, you're going to need to shell out $1,800 about for the Phantom and for the Mavic, it is $1,799. Now, as far as my take is concerned, for somebody who's going to be flying their drones professionally, somebody that does this for a living, this is going to be a no-brainer. It's essentially priceless to them because it opens up the door for so many opportunities. Me, as I'm just getting started with my drone business, have gotten the opportunity to do like event videography and flying in certain areas in Philadelphia, in the city, but there's certain jobs I have to turn down because it's just not feasible. But now if I'm able to get a waiver, fly over people, I can then make more money, make that $1,800 back. And again, it's kind of priceless because it just allows you to take more jobs. It opens up more opportunities and it gives you the power to fly over people. Now, the other good thing is that you buy the $1,800 kit and you're good. You can repack the parachute. Hopefully the parachute never has to deploy and you have it there as a safety measure. But again, once it deploys, you can repack it and use it again. I don't know exactly what it's rated for, how many deploys, but it's in the hundreds. So if you have over a hundred times your parachute deploys, you probably are doing something wrong. 
wrong. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think of this whole thing, this whole entire drone parachute flying over people, whole thing is concerned. I love to hear what you guys have to say, and I'll be down there in the comments replying and kind of weighing my opinion on different opportunities. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, I'll talk to you later. Peace. Oh,